Are you looking for models, materials, and all free assets to build your own library, and use it in your work? Well, look no further, hello guys and welcome back, this time, I will share with you couple of my go to sources in getting free amazing assets that I use in my work, so without any further ado, let us jump into it. Most of you know that ArtStation is a huge library for artists to share their work, and we go to it to get inspired or to have some reference before we start working, whether it's in architecture visualization or 3D work in general. However, what you might not know is in the ArtStation market, there is a quite big section for free assets. Going to there and by selecting any other category to specify the search, you can get a variety of assets and as you see they all tag with the zero price, and the amount of goods is just more than enough. From materials, to characters and many of them related to Archviz, like here in this scene, which is free to download, and you might ask yourself what I'm gonna do with pre-made interior room. Well, it's free set that contain at least 10 models for you to put on the shelf and use it again, and they're just awesome, this process took me like 2 minutes to just sort out the models in a separate file, and now they are ready to be used in future work, quite easy, now how about an hour, how much can you add with that to your library? So next time you want to start a project, try to take a look in this section first, you might find stuff that are related to what you have in mind. The Blender Kit Library, most of you might be familiar with it, for me this asset library is a must in my blender, always have it and always will be, it's just too good to left behind, from models to materials and different other assets that are essential to 3D arch viz, you won't regret having up in your blender viewport, so if by any chance you still don't have it, go to the site blenderkit.com, and just sign up normally like you do in any site, there's also a short video to explaining more how to set up the library in Blender 3.0 and above, for older version it was shipped with the program. So once you download the library, you need to open it and fill the API key field, and you already signed up so just hit the login button. You can also become a kit library creator, benefit others by adding your own assets to the library, but that's for another day. In Blender, on the sidebar. You can go into the library sections, and just look around the different options you have, it even have HDRIs and entire scenes to work at, now the main course here is the materials, and just look at how many there are, you have like 58 just for asphalt material, 30 for ceramic, 132 different kind of concrete, now that's just awesome. and the wood, just look at the number, over 300 kind of wood is available for you and it's click and drop, so as long as you know what material you are looking for, the shading part in your next archviz won't be that hard, so start using it.
the G scatter is a vegetation library with an easy system to help scatter trees, grass and other green things on your scene. The process in this is quite amazing with the options it provided that can make your work easier and shorter by a huge amount especially if you like working on environments. Once you enable the add-on, which you can find the link to it in the description by the way, you will get a decent number of free multi-use assets like those shown in the video, with them you can start adding for example grass to your scene, and control everything around it from size to count and appearance, so try it now, you might like it. The OPS kit, a bit familiar to most Blender users, and most people know it as a hard surface tool, or it related to hard surface modeling, and they are right, this tool can do magic in that section, however, this one also can be considered a library that contain a decent number of assets and have many sub tools that works with it, we did see that before with the fake interior previewer where we can just drop a plan with image that mimic interiors from all sides, and looking at other sections in this tools you see it contains quite nice models that works with the same click and drop process, easy and efficient. Now the last thing I have to say here is just a small reminder to start building your assets browser in Blender, that small empty section you have now is ready to be filled with your selective models and materials and all kind of things that you regularly use, and most the question I get is where you get this models and from where you had this grass, now you know that, whether it's trees, goofy emojis, or character animations. All that can be added to the assets browser in Blender and it's with one click, so start building your library now. And that's it for today, see you guys next time, goodbye.